Viking Aircraft has had seat belts for the high wing Zenit type of aircraft for a while, and we supply a kit for that. Now, the low wings are a little bit more challenging because there's nothing really to attach to. Some of the other style of airplanes that have shoulder harnesses run long cables to the back of the airplane, and this is done during the build of the airplane. But what if your airplane's already built, or if you just want a nice, easy solution to add to the airplane as you're building it? Well, here today we're testing. We got our, our old Clark. Uh, hopefully it won't move. It's pretty heavy with some straps. And we're supporting a bar, a streamlined bar, for the, where the seat belts will be attached behind you behind the seats. As you can say, the, see the uh, streamlined 4130 steel tube is in reverse uh, because we're not looking for aerodynamics. We're looking for a nice area for the belts to wrap around without any chafing or deterioration or sharp edges. Now, we have simulated here. We've already like pulled 76 pounds on it uh, to bring it off the ground and take some tension out. But we now have a scale set up here, and uh, we have our belts. This will be the pilot. This will then be the co-pilot, and that will be the attachment in the back. And clearly, this uh, aluminum bar is not going to give. Um, the weak link, and the reason we're testing it, is the bar that goes across the airplane where the canopy bow is attached. And we don't want it to be too heavy and not too light duty. So we're just gonna test it and see how many pounds it holds before something starts to buckle. You're bending. bar here. It never broke or anything. It just... Well, so what we got to keep in mind here is that this, this now, of course, uh, bent because it tipped over. Uh, when it's attached to the side of the fuselage, you can't really rely on the fuselage to not pull in because it will, but it will help a little bit. But what it will do because of the longerons, it will keep the bar from twisting like this because we're going to have eighth inch flat plates here that lay on it. And if this cannot um, twist like this, this is what happened now. We got uh, 1,600 pounds out of it, no failure. And it was actually because the thing was flipped over, not because anything broke. So we'll see if you want to do this again or just leave it with that. Okay, so our production brace is finished. We have the end plates welded in. And uh, they're then level on both sides. They're not going to be trimmed to the exact angle of the fuselage sides because, of course, every fuselage is going to be just a little bit different. So this bar is just a little bit too long. I suggest maybe take a piece of wood, quarter-inch plywood or something, and make a template, and then uh, drill the holes. So there'll be a hole over here and one over here that will correspond to the pad for the rollover bar. Now, as you saw in the video, we show a video of actually pulling this apart. Of course, it wasn't supported at each end, nor did it have the rollover structure that triangulates this. So once it becomes a triangle, and this is also holding and pushing, pushing the laundrons apart and holding them together, the total strength of the final assembly would be far stronger than just uh, having it hang in free air like we demonstrated. I just wanted to see how strong the actual bar would be by itself. Working with the customer, of course, is the best way to do this. And uh, several 650 builders have been looking to have a different seat belt system, like a four point seat belt system or, or more in their 650s and 601s. So Alyssa sent the setup to Jim and he made a prototype setup that he sent back to us for evaluation.
as you can see from his attempt, he made a nice uh, L angled aluminum bar across the airplane. We went from that and uh, didn't really want those big holes and uh, we went from aluminum to steel. As you saw, we used the uh, streamlined um, strut and uh, we have a completed setup now. The belts actually wrap around. We did that because it gives more surface area to the belt and less uh, places where the bar can break by drilling holes into it. So by removing the stress risers like that, we think we have a nice system now. And um, unless I can take the orders for that, we have the belts and uh, we would make up these bars as people need them. And of course, powder coating is available. I know it's important to be able to have something that matches your airplane, or you can just paint it with a rattle can if you'd like. And here you can see Jim's nice cockpit with the seat belts and the bar in the back, the prototype one. As you can see, the triangulation of the roll bar coming up there is what makes us super strong at those locations now. The belts themselves are the same as we've been selling for a while, also for the high wings with a nice uh, buckle. You just turn and release. 